Wreckers. History. Covenant of Primus Wreckers. History. Covenant of Primus During the early days of Cybertronian history the planet was divided into many warring city-states and kingdoms. As such, many scavengers roamed the wilderness of the planet for resources to gather often assaulting traveling civilians. The original Wreckers were formed as a group to fight for the little bot, to defend the civilians from these criminals. Wreckers. History. Exodus the Wreckers were the council guardians led by Ultra Magnus during the siege of Hydrax Plateau. Afterwards, they're all what stood between Devastator and the Tagan Heights before Defensor arrived to join the fight. They guarded the Well of All Sparks when Optimus Prime descended through it to the core of Cybertron to free of its contamination of Dark Energon. Ultra Magnus, Springer and other team members decided to stay behind to distract Trypticon when the Ark launched into space, gaining invaluable allies. Jetfire, Omega Supreme and Alpha Trion to battle Shockwave's new Decepticon regime. Bulkhead left the Wreckers to join up with Optimus Prime and several other Autobots aboard the Ark just before it left Cybertron. Wreckers. History. On Earth Bulkhead and Wheeljack were also members of the Wreckers, though early in the war, Bulkhead left his old team to join Team Prime on Earth. Hardshell mentioned that he killed several Wreckers while fighting Bulkhead. When Miko saved his life from Hardshell and defied his direct orders to escape with the Jackhammer, Wheeljack welcomed her into the Wreckers. At some point of time, after graduating from the Cybertron Elite Guard, Smokescreen mentioned that he studied every battle the Wreckers have involved in, which pleased Bulkhead. When Autobot Outpost Omega-1 was destroyed, Bulkhead took Miko to the Rocky Mountains. When Wheeljack came to Earth, he and Bulkhead chose this location to follow standard Wrecker protocol. If the Autobot team was separated, with nowhere to go they would meet there and find the rest of the team. Bulkhead and Miko waited for two days. Miko eventually gave up and thought Wheeljack would never come, but Bulkhead knew Wheeljack would show up. After he escaped Darkmount, Wheeljack drove straight to the meeting point. He stopped only to salvage weapons from his wrecked ship and search for the tracking device Starscream planted on him. After killing the Viacons sent to kill them, the three wreckers found an Energon mine. They intended to detonate it, to see if any Autobots were in range. They were the first to meet the Predakon. The beast pursued Wheeljack into the mine where he failed to kill it. The trio were then rescued by Ultra Magnus and RC. After Darkmount was destroyed and Optimus and Smokescreen were found to be alive, Bulkhead and Wheeljack were put onto Magnus as the wrecker part of Teen Prime. They were dispatched to Scotland, to collect a Predakon fossil from the Decepticons. The operation started out bad, when Wheeljack and Ultra Magnus had disagreements over fighting Viacons. It got worse when it was discovered Wheeljack brought Miko with him. Wheeljack claimed, Miko was a full wrecker as she had saved his life and destroyed Hardshell. Bulkhead managed to smooth things over with both and Miko joined the operation. Things got even worse when the Prodea and they though dead, showed up wanting revenge and the fossil. During the battle, Wheeljack lobbed a grenade at the Predakon's mouth hoping to kill it from the inside. The beast swatted the grenade away which buried them all. When the trio came to, the Predakon was gone and Wheeljack and Ultra Magnus argued about how to proceed. Bulkhead told them to argue later as Miko was alone with the Decepticons and the Predakon. When they reached the surface, they found Miko wearing the Apex armor and beating up the Viacons. Wheeljack praised her skills and promptly drove off. The remaining three flew back to base in Magnus' ship, with Bulkhead clearly worried about Wheeljack. Miko called Jack to ask if Wheeljack had shown up at base, as it looked like he had gone solo again. Wheeljack, had showed up and was on mission with RC. When the other Wreckers arrived at base, Wheeljack was talked into staying by RC. The Wreckers were assigned to scout a mine and were joined by an eager smokescreen. He and Bulkhead emerged empty-handed but Wheeljack and Ultra Magnus emerged damaged and without Magnus' right hand due to a battle with the Predakon. The trio functioned better after this incident. They were tasked with securing the bridge of the Nemesis in the final bat, but were sent to a lower deck by Soundwave. While the humans, secured the bridge, they killed most of the Viacons inside. 